Hi guys, I'm a forester here with another video from China. Now, all of my past trips have been personal trips to see family. This one was different because I went to Chongqing, China to attend a conference on wood supply from all around the globe to China to meet their wood demand. They use a lot of wood in China. A lot of it goes into furniture, but a lot of it goes into construction like the projects and that's in back of me. The construction is going on all around the country and wherever you look seems like you can see two or three construction cranes. I even had a man tell me a joke once that the crane was the national bird of China. But there was a speaker at the conference that said that construction is going to slow down a little bit and rather than quantity, they were going to put emphasis on quality construction. That really caught my attention and I'll tell you why. Now this building right here is probably about 10 years old. There's probably 16 floors or so in the building. This is pretty much standard for China. But this construction work, right now they're just putting up the scaffolding primarily, but it's to take down the thin veneer that's on the outside of the building. Now, why do they want to take that veneer off? Well, let me scan over just a little bit and zoom in. You see that neighboring building? That one's under construction also. But sheets of that thin veneer are falling off. I'll give you a close-up shot of that veneer so you can see what it's made of. But it's gotten to a point where it's actually becoming dangerous. And so they're building the scaffolding to be able to take it off and replace it. Here's a pile of the material that they're taking off the building and they get it off with jackhammers. And I think there's like a concrete base underneath it. Here's a close-up of it I wanted to show you and it's got sort of a fabric mesh to it. It's very thin. There's not a lot to it, but I imagine if a big piece of that came off and landed on you, it would do some damage. Even the sidewalks are poorly built. They fall apart. This is a fairly new sidewalk. I remember it being put in, and they're constantly under repair. Now, this building is several years old. I'd say three or four years old. And let me show you some major problems here. There are numerous cosmetic problems inside, but the foundation is literally pulling away from the walls. Now this was built, this building was built in a swamp. This whole complex was built in a swamp that was filled, so the foundation must be sinking. These are two of the newer buildings in this area, and when they're new, they look beautiful from a distance, but let's take a little closer look at them. Okay guys, so I showed you a 10 year old building and the maintenance issues there. I showed you a two or three year old building, but now I want to show you a brand new building. It's one of the two that I showed you that looks so beautiful from afar. Let's take a little closer look. And the first thing I want you to notice are these broken tiles. And this happens, I can see three or four examples of this on this side of the building. Now this is some type of either marble or fake marble. I'm not sure what it is. It doesn't sound fake to me, but anyway, they just get broken off and then they'll stay like that. Maybe eventually they'll get fixed, I don't know. There's another example right there broken tiles, but let's go inside. Now we're on the inside and I just wanted to show you the level of finishing that they go to. This is just uh, outside an elevator and you can see if I zoom in there that it's really not been finished at all. Now I don't know if that's going to be done at some point or not, but it doesn't look like they're in any rush to get it done. Now I'm going to walk down the hall and show you some of the finishing touches 
that you'll see. And then we'll go in one of the building, one of the rooms. This is some of the paint work that's done where the paint on the, uh, you know, it's no, no attempt made to keep it off the doors. There's stickers on the walls. The wall's not really finished. Okay, now this is an apartment that's actually being rented. And here's some electrical work that's not even had covers installed over it, which is actually pretty dangerous. Okay, this is a school classroom. Brand new. This has not been used yet. And look at the staining on this wall over here. There's obviously a leak somewhere and uh, mold is growing. It does have an excellent view, I'll give it that. Okay, I'm not gonna nitpick anymore, but here's an example of the workmanship where that corner of the wall has been knocked off. Now this is in a 4,000 RMB apartment per month, and the renter is expected to just accept this. As we leave, let's take a quick look at the floor tiles here on the stairs. And if you'll notice, every single one is broken. That's a shame, because they would look beautiful if they were kept in good shape. So when the speaker at the conference said that they were going to emphasize quality of construction over speed or quantity of construction, it got my attention, because that's not been the case at all as far as I can see in China. You know, it's part of their culture, and I don't want to put the uh, workmanship or craftsmanship of the people down because they're very hardworking people, but they just do what they're told. And there's a word here in China called chabaduo, and it basically means bad, not many, or I might paraphrase it as it's good enough. And that's a culture here in China as far as their constructions and many other things. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I hope the video was chabaduo. Y'all take care.